Mr. Bradley, I think you're confused about ethical issues. What we saw here was somebody who misspoke and apologized, and rightfully apologized, he should. I was a military spouse, my husband sitting in the audience, he was born on a military base, we love the military, and they should have apologized, and he did apologize. But that's not a question of ethics, so let's talk about ethics. Okay, first of all, let's talk about time delay. I asked you three times at different town meetings to please return that money to Tom DeLay. It was $15,000 and he didn't need it. This was before the indictment, but he'd been chastised three times by the Ethics Committee. You voted in, in that Ethics Committee ruling to allow them to stay on, if need be, until he was actually convicted, which I thought was a wrong vote. You didn't return the money, and then when he was indicted, you ran out there, quickly threw the check, and then put a press release out. I don't think that's good enough. I think the obligation is to look out and say, you know, something doesn't feel right here. If the ethics committee chastises three times, that money should go back. As a matter of fact, the first time would have been good enough for me. The second part, you talk about Foley. Well, Foley's a sick man, and certainly he should have been removed. But here's the difference between you and me. I am so willing to say, no matter who my leader is, that he or she has to leave if they cover up something like that. Or, if it happens and everybody around that person knows about it, and he doesn't, then that shows he's really not a leader anyway. If everybody in the office knows except for him, he needs to go either way.